So I'm going to take you for a quick tour of the spreadsheet. Just to remind you, we have the strategic objectives down the left and your core process groupings from the work we did in Module 3, the strategic process analysis. And then we rated each of the processes' performance against the strategic objectives that they impact. We then produce these charts, which give you a view as to how we're performing. And just to remind you, again, the blue portion represents how well we're currently performing, and the gold portion is a gap between how we're currently performing and how we need to perform in order to achieve our strategic objectives. Remember this gold bar, because that's going to be our focus. We then took a look at our projects and did the same thing. Strategic objectives, core projects or initiatives across the top, and we rated their impact or how much of the gap that they're going to close, medium and high and low and so forth. And based on that, we took those gold bars and we plotted with red dots the impact of the projects. So in this case, you can see, for example, there's no uh, observed gap on F1, increased profitability, yet there's a lot of projects that impact that and so forth. So that gave us a view of projects assuming infinite capacity. Now in the portfolio management, what we're going to do is take the same projects and the same analysis but now we're going to take a look at it in light of some constrained resources. Uh, we're going to understand which projects we have to proceed with because they're mandatory, which projects we're going to select to proceed with, and then what resources each project consumes. And from that, we'll be able to get a view of uh, both how much of those resources are going to get consumed by the selected projects and how many, much of the gaps are going to get closed. We'll go into the details of this spreadsheet in the next section.